Welcome back everyone. Today I wanted to talk more in depth about how companies use IT. Okay. So, so far we've talked about especially small com companies um, and the type of IT or information technology that they would use in their company. We said something like a cash register. Okay. So cash register, um, uh, internet, probably an access point, and then um, credit card machine, right? So cash register, internet, access point, credit card machine, um, and then most likely some sort of stock ordering system. Right, so stock management. Um, if I need to order more vegetables, for example, um, they can either go to the market or they can actually order them in a stock management system and it will automatically be shipped to them. Okay, um, so stock ordering system. Um, actually, I'm going to clear that up. Stock ordering systems and yeah, that's, let's say that's about it. So let's say it's a small business. Um, Let's say it's a small business like a kimbap shop or something like that. They probably have all of these technologies. Okay. Now, new modern uh, kimbap shops um, or maybe shops that actually provide a lot of different food, a lot of different services, they might also be on um, online. So, for example, they might also use not directly related to their business, but something like social media. Right. They might also use online third-party services like, uh, what's it called? Yogio? Yogio? The, it's an online food ordering shop, right? So um, restaurants register with this uh, online service, and then you can order th food through the online app. Okay, So um, social media, Yogio, maybe they don't have something directly to do with, with, um, producing, um, producing or taking in money, uh, for their food, but, um, these top ones do. These other ones are kind of like support systems. Actually, they're all kind of support systems. Okay. So if this is a normal small shop, um, why do they use each of these things? Well, in each of these cases, it makes keeping track of their stock uh, easier. It makes uh, payments or transactions easier. It makes, um, so for example, credit card machine and internet, you basically need um, these kind of together. Okay. Access point can also be customer satisfaction, Right, because most customers want to get online while they're while they're in the restaurant or whatever it is. So this could be customer satisfaction as well, which isn't directly related to the food, but uh, more the atmosphere. Cash register for uh, processing transactions, keeping track of what's sold, how much you sell, things like that. Um, stock management system, like we said, to automate the um, stock ordering or to just help keep track. So all of these things make. Uh, running the business easier. It automates a lot of the tasks that you need to do to run the business, but it also helps to keep track of things and makes it more efficient in terms of um, uh, understanding your business and understanding how much money you're making, okay, or not making. Uh, social media um, also kind of relates to customer satisfaction. Um, people want to interact with shops on social media just to say that they liked it or to say, oh man, I had this uh, la mien, but it wasn't very good, something like that. Um, so people want to interact with shops a lot online, usually, um, whether it's just make a comment or or some other reason. And then Yogio, I can say, is probably also related more to um, making it efficient to actually sell things. Social media um, is part of what we call public relations or PR or marketing. And the internet makes it really easy for everyone to market themselves all the time. That's basically what social media stars are. They are just marketed personalities. That's it. Um, Yogio is also a little bit of PR and marketing because you get on their platform and then they say, hey, you're close to this restaurant. 
Um, but it also helps with, um, not stock management, but it, uh, sales, basically. Sales management. Um, customer satisfaction is also related to PR and marketing. Okay. Um, so this is how um, a lot of small businesses use technology today, right? All of these things you can get from the internet, especially making people aware that you exist, right? If you don't have a social media presence, someone will create it for you and you usually want to control your own social media presence. Um, everything else is making the business easier. Um, information technology could also be, for example, um, a smart gas meter. Very few businesses use these right now, but smart gas meter. So for example, um, a smart gas meter might try to control the amount of gas that you're using in your restaurant to try to reduce the amount of gas that you use, but still produce the same amount of food or whatever it is. Same for water. So I'll also say water, electricity. Now, a lot of these smart meters, um, so you can think of like an IoT smart home or um, yeah, just a gas meter with a computer on it. It can keep track of how much gas, water, and electricity you're using and then find ways to reduce the amount of, of each of those resources you're using and that will reduce costs. Right? So <coughs> we've already talked about cost. So how much does it cost to produce um, a, a cup of lamyan? Probably more than you think, right? So even for a, a, a convenience store, they sell cup lamyan, but then they also have electrical costs, they have staff costs, they have um, stocking costs, shipping costs, um, you probably want to buy or you probably want to cook your lamyan, so then they have to have a, a microwave oven probably or hot water. Um, so then you have heating costs, you have to buy the appliance, so you have appliance costs, and then you actually have to cook it, so you have electrical costs with that, um, and insurance and all those other things, right? So there's actually a lot of costs associated with even just selling cup lamyan, okay? Um, so uh, these smart gas, water, and electrical systems, uh, electrical meters, try to reduce the costs, right? Use less water, use less electricity, use less gas, and then our costs will be lower, and that means everything goes to, all of this revenue we're generating goes to hopefully profit instead of costs, and then we make more money. Um, so technology can be used in all of these things, right? So social media, Yogio, this is powered by the internet and smartphones, and, and computers somewhat, but most people order this on their smartphones, right? So if we didn't have smartphones, in terms of IT, it'd be very difficult to run this kind of, this kind of business, or Yogi-Oh. Um, social media, also basically smartphones, computers, but it's internet-based. Everything else is kind of a physical device, um, but uh, it makes the business easier. So, kind of the bottom line of all of this is that businesses implement information technology to make their business more efficient, right? We want to make the business more efficient to try to reduce costs in our business, um, which hopefully will, will, yeah, will we'll reduce costs if we actually can find ways to reduce costs. Then we can increase, um, uh, we don't have to actually charge more, but we still make more money because we've already reduced the costs. We can also pass that cost savings on to the customer so then you could potentially reduce the prices of your products and then compete better with um, other companies around in the same area. So um, sometimes it makes sense to reduce the costs and keep the extra profit that you've made. Sometimes it makes sense to pass those savings on to the customer to try to compete with other businesses around in a free market. Okay. Um, so this is kind of how at least a small business would implement or use some technologies. These are physical things. So imagine this is like a computer in your office. This is the services you're providing online. So next I'll talk about how larger businesses are trying, or even internet-based businesses, are trying to um, use technology to do business. Okay, thank you very much.